All right, so we've all been guilty of this. Your trading day has been going great. You're well into profit. And then your strategy just takes one more trade. It's a loser. Then you try and get it back, loses again. Then all of a sudden, your really good day has gone south. All your gains have been lost. Or worse, your day has turned into a loss. So in this video, I'm going to go over some profit and stop limits on the Predator that will help you stop over trading. So with that, let's get right into it. All right, so here we have the strategy open. Now let's scroll down to the 07 additional filter section. We're going to click on the show additional filters and it's going to reveal all of the non-indicator filters. And for our first example, I'm going to show how to use the use, realize, profit and loss. And then for the second example, I'm going to go over the use, kill switch. So first, let's enable the use, realize, profit and loss. And it's going to reveal these two options. We have your profit limit and your loss limit. Now, these are pretty straightforward. It's just how much you're able to gain profit in a day before it stops taking any more trades or how much you're able to lose in a day before it stops taking any trades. So for this example, I'm just going to set my profit limit to 450. And for my loss limit, I'll set that at 450 as well. So that means when I hit a profit of 450, it'll stop taking trades. Or when my PL hits 450 in the negative, it will also stop taking trades. So let's just hit apply and see how that works. So here I have it enabled on our chart and I'm just entering with an EMA crossover, but let's play it and see how this works. Order filled. Or, or so here we're just waiting for the realized PNL to hit either 450 in the positive or 450 in the negative. Order filled. Order filled. Or, order, order filled. So here with the last trade, our realized PL finally reached a number of 450 or greater. When this happens, you'll see a little message above your PL stating what has happened. So here, a daily realized profit reached of 499 out of your limit of 450. And this just means it's no longer going to take trades because it's above our realized daily limit of 450. One thing to keep in mind is this is not a kill switch. This is just a realized PNL limit. And this just means it's only going to prevent new trades after your realized PNL limit or your loss has been reached. And this is only going to take into account once your position has fully closed. So if you're in a trade and it goes beyond your limit, so in this case, beyond the 450, and it was to reverse back below that threshold, that means it's not going to count that as your limit being reached. Your position has to fully close with a realized PNL above that threshold. So I'm just going to keep playing it so we can see it's no longer going to be taking any new trades because it's reached our limit for that day. And that's how the realized PNL works. Now let's go over the kill switch. All right, we're back in the properties and now we're going to go over the kill switch function. So the kill switch, unlike the realized profit and loss option, the kill switch is actually going to exit you out of the trade when a total PNL is reached. So that means when a total profit of 500 is reached, it will exit you out, or when a total loss of 500, it will exit you out there as well. And this will exit you out with a market order as soon as this price is touched. And just one thing to keep in mind, because it is a market order, the order is not guaranteed to actually fill either above or below this price. So your final PNL might be a little bit different from your profit or loss limit. It will be pretty close, but I suggest going maybe a little bit higher than where you actually want to exit. So let's just go through an example. I'm going to leave the kill switch drawdown trail off just for the first run. And then I'm going to turn it on just so we can see the difference. So let's hit apply. I'm going to enable the same scenario. And we're just going to hit play. Order filled, order filled. So here we are looking for a total order, PL. Order filled. And once this is reached, it will exit out of our position. Order, or, order, order filled. 
Order filled. Or order order filled. So we're at 499. We haven't actually hit our target yet. So one more dollar and this should be activated. Order filled. Okay. And when that happens, you will see this pop up come up on your screen. It's going to display the profit limit reached. It's going to say your kill switch has been activated. You need to disable and then re enable the strategy in order to continue. So let's just hit OK. And uh, I'm going to pause this. And it's also going to give you a message above your PL saying, hey, our kill switch has been activated. Your total PL went above this threshold. It's going to cut all trades. As you can see, the strategy kept going, but there were no more trades taking place. And this is what I mean about the kill switch. It sets a market order. So here, I guess there was a little bit of a price pull down. It filled a little bit lower than our threshold, but it still activated the kill switch and it's preventing any new trades. So that's how the regular kill switch works. Let's go back into the properties. And now we're going to select the kill switch drawdown trail option. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to capture a little bit more profit. It's going to give you a bit more room after your limit has been reached by allowing the price to be able to come back a drawdown amount. So in this example, I have it set at 100. So what this means is once your total PL reaches your profit limit for the kill switch, it's going to activate a drawdown. So that is your drawdown right here. It means from the highest point your PL has reached, it is not allowed to retrace this amount of profit. So from the highest point after it reaches the limit, but if the price just keeps moving up, 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 it's not going to stop you out instantly. It's going to actually allow you to capture that profit. So obviously just keep in mind that if it does reach this amount, it can retrace this full hundred dollars and then you're left with just a $400 PL. But with that, let's just run it so we can see it on the chart. All right, so here we have it enabled on the chart. Let's just play it to see how it works. Order, or, order filled. And we are just waiting for the total PL to reach above our $500 threshold. Order. Order, order submitted, or, order filled. So we're at 494, six more dollars, and we should order activate filled. this. All right, so here we got into another trade. You can see our total PL went above the $500 threshold. We see a message above our PL that our kill switch has been activated. And the first number we see here is just going to be the highest PL your strategy has reached minus $100. When the price retraces where your PL goes under this first number, that means your kill switch will be activated and it's going to submit a market order to get you out of the trade. So let's just keep playing this. And you can see it's allowing you to capture just a little bit more profit than you would with just a regular kill switch. So you can see it's constantly updating. As soon as it reaches a new number, it's just going to Order update filled. this until the price retraces to this amount and it's just going to exit you out of the trade. But we were able to capture just a little bit more than what we would without that drawdown feature. But again, keep in mind, it doesn't always work. You do run the risk of losing that extra drawdown amount once your kill switch should have been activated. And that's how the kill switch functions work inside the Predator. Hope you guys found this video useful. So always take care, enjoy.